If you're watching this video, you're clearly addicted to League of Legends. I know this because I've been in your shoes. And I gotta tell you, the League of Legends to software engineering pipeline is a real thing. I was so addicted to this game, I didn't get into computer science at the University of Waterloo, aka the MIT of Canada. Instead, I got deferred to some other program called Geomatics, which focused on some coding and some GIS map related stuff. You know what? This program isn't even that bad, because I get to create maps, like Summer is Rift. Jokes aside, you're probably watching this video because you're addicted to League of Legends and you want to break out of this addiction. And good news to you, you came to the right video. In only three simple steps, I'll show you how to break your addiction. Step number one, go to your applications, right click, and click uninstall. That was easy. Well, not quite, because no matter how many times I uninstall, this game somehow ends up on my computer again. So for this video, I'm going to show you guys how I broke my addiction. What worked for me may not work for you. I just want to share my story of how I got addicted to this game and how it affected my life and why I needed to break that addiction and how my life is after being free from League of Legends. How it all started. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Vincent and I've been playing League of Legends since season one, which was basically around the time when I started high school and this game was actually at its peak. Yeah, look how good it is. Look how ugly the characters were. Just to let you guys know, I'm a very competitive player. I was grinding ranked games like no tomorrow. I kid you not, this game literally possessed me like a demon. I would literally rush home from school at 3 p.m., catch the first bus, and go straight home just to play League of Legends. And this became a normal ritual, and I hate to admit it, but I was addicted. The side defects. Don't get me wrong, League of Legends is a super fun game, but the problem is myself. I have zero self-control. You know, when you play one game and then you want to play another one, it becomes two, and then before you know it, you played four games. This addiction was super toxic on my mental health and also my relationships with other people in my life. I don't know if it's just me, if I lose a game, I cannot end the night with an L. I need to play until I get a W and then I can finally go to sleep. And this game makes me super frustrated because whenever I lose or whenever I get a troll in the game, it really gets to my head and it affects my emotions. And this frustration also affects the way that I treat other people in my life. For example, I lived at home with my parents and we would always eat dinner together. So when I'm playing this game around dinner time, my parents would yell at me to go eat dinner. But because I'm in the middle of the game, I can't pause. And then my mom would yell at me to come eat dinner and I would yell back and tell her to wait. But then she's like, yo, just come down and eat dinner. But I'm just trying to explain to them I can't pause the game and I need to finish it or else I'm going to lose some elo. And if I lost that game, I would be pissed at the dinner table. Like, I would be angry. I would even talk to my parents like I would just eat my food in anger. Like, that's how bad this game was for my mental health. But on the other hand, if I won that game, I'll be the happiest kid at the dinner table. I'll be telling my mom about that triple kill I got, how I destroyed Nexus, and how great school was. But as you can see, this game basically controlled my emotions. And let's be real, games shouldn't make you angry and frustrated. They should make you happy, right? Let me know if you guys can relate to that. And this game also affected my relationship with my girlfriend at the time, where I would basically prioritize this game and playing with my friends over spending time with her. And she hated me for that, but it is what it is. Breaking free. So my addiction for League of Legends was due to the fact that I prioritized League of Legends over everything else in life. So in order for me to break that addiction, I had to find a new priority to focus on. So my senior year of high school, I got the reality check that I really needed. Everyone was getting back their results for university and they were getting to the schools and programs that they applied for. And then it suddenly hit me. I didn't get accepted to computer science at the University of Waterloo. I was devastated. It felt like the end of the world for me. And unfortunately, this is real life. This ain't no anime where I can just jump back in time and redo high school. I was super bummed out at that time. And the only way I knew how to cope was no other than to play League of Legends. But luckily, it wasn't the end of the world because I got deferred to an alternative program that I mentioned earlier. But the offer was conditional based on whether I passed my final exams. And this actually became a do or die situation. And this was what I needed to finally prioritize school over League of Legends. So in the month of April before final exams, I literally uninstalled League of Legends and I did not play that game for a straight month just so that I could study for my final exams. During this period, because I uninstalled League, I had so much free time that I didn't even know what to do with it. For example, I would actually go outside and take a walk to help myself de-stress. 
and the results were great. I passed my courses and now I'm able to maintain the offer for university. And then reality hit me again. If I attend the University of Waterloo, I will have to move one hour away from home and I'll be living alone. There will be rent, there will be food expenses, and I also have to pay tuition. So for that summer, I had another do or die situation where I basically had to find my first job so that way I can make money to pay for university. I literally took any job that I could take. I worked at a restaurant, I worked at Medieval Times, I did door to door sales, and I also worked at the carnival. And all of these jobs were very labor intensive, where basically after my shift, when I get home, I'm way too tired to even play League of Legends. I literally just slept. And slowly throughout that summer, I played less and less League of Legends. Which is very important. But on the bright side, I'm making some money and I'm slowly breaking out of the addiction. And then when university started, I was in a new environment by myself without my family. Instead of playing League of Legends to cope, I decided to explore this new environment and get accustomed to it. On the other hand, I was also very unhappy with the program that I was enrolled in. So I had to spend more time studying so that I can transfer into computer science. So you see where I'm getting at? Now I have a new priority, which is basically to transfer into computer science. And I needed certain grades in order to do that transfer. And also the fact that I'm paying for school, I have to take it more seriously. I don't know about you guys, but usually when things are offered for free, I usually take it for granted and I don't take it that seriously. So now that education is not free, I have to give it my all because I don't want to fail and retake that course and have to pay again. And because of all of these new priorities, I just simply did not have the time to play League of Legends. And that's basically how I broke my addiction. So throughout university, I was able to focus on my classes. Instead of spending 30 minutes to an hour playing a league game, I was able to spend that time to study league code problems. So that way I can ace my technical interviews for internships. So basically I was able to land internships. And number three, I focused on my physical health. So I was at the gym, I was lifting, you know, I was getting stronger, which ultimately boosted my self-esteem. Number four, I was able to spend more time with my friends in real life. And obviously I had some relapse moments where I would download the game and play again, but this time it wasn't as fun because now I have other priorities in life that bring me more fulfillment. And then after playing one or two games to kill the itch, it felt like I was wasting my time. So then I just ended up uninstalling the game. Life without League. Because I quit League of Legends, I was able to graduate university, land a six-figure job, start a YouTube channel, teach people how to code, and finally, teach you how to break your League of Legends addiction. If you've made it all the way to the end of this video, I believe that you can break your addiction. Just try to find other priorities and goals in life that you want to achieve, and you'll be amazed by how much free time you have once you quit League of Legends. Good luck and peace out.